everyone and welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you a really simple, simple side dish to make. Brussels sprouts made in a garlic butter sauce. The ingredients are right in front of you right here. So simple, so easy to make. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, you probably haven't eaten them cooked right. They're delicious, they're healthy, and this is my favorite way to cook them. I know I love to roast vegetables, but Brussels sprouts, I prefer them um, in, cooked, prepared in this method. I feel like when you cook them over too high, heat like um, roasting or pan frying them over a very high heat, they get sort of a bitter taste. This recipe, the Brussels sprouts will have no bitter taste whatsoever. They can be really mellow and light and buttery and garlicky and delicious. So the ingredients are really just Brussels sprouts, about a few tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter, some garlic cloves, salt, pepper, and that's it. And some boiling water that we're gonna toss them in right now. So you wanna have some water that's boiling and I'm just gonna put them in here and let them cook for about seven minutes, that's all. You don't wanna overcook them because then when they get mushy, they get kind of like a bad consistency. Just like that, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here, cover it, and let these uh, boil for about seven minutes or so. In the meantime, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna grate this uh, garlic over here. You want it really nice and finely minced, and I love doing that over my mandolin right here. If you don't have one, it's really a great gadget to have. Um, I like to buy everything online, so I'll post a link down below where you can find one really easily. In the description box, though, is. And mincing garlic is just that easy with this handy dandy little gadget. So really all we can do right now is wait for these to cook for seven minutes and then we're going to move on and make the sauce. So the, br the Brussels sprouts are done cooking for seven minutes. All I did was pass them through the strainer and then I'm just going to leave them here until we make our sauce. But before we do that actually what I like to do is I like to cut them in half. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these in half right now. And they're so hot, so I'll use this, these tongs right here. So now they're cut in half. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the butter in here. And this comes together really quickly. So you just want to have your pan nice and hot. You want to make sure your garlic is already chopped. And I use my handy dandy microplane to do that. Put the butter in there and the garlic. And since the garlic is so finely minced, it really cooks very, very quickly. And garlic burns quickly also, so you don't want to keep it in here for too long on a high heat. We'll put the Brussels sprouts back in there. And they're still nice and hot, so they'll absorb all that buttery goodness. And I'll also start seasoning them with some salt. A little bit of pepper. If you had some crushed red pepper flakes, those would be nice in here too. A little more salt. And then just toss these around to coat. They smell so, so good. The butter and the garlic, that's all you need. Take one of these and taste them and see if they need any more seasoning. And that's it. Just like that, your Brussels sprouts are done. They're ready. Now, if you wanted to, you can also sprinkle some grated, freshly grated Parmesan on top or some crumbled feta cheese. Both things would work beautifully, but Another thing that you definitely want to do is to make this recipe and to serve it along any of your favorite meats. It goes lovely with fish or turkey or chicken or really anything. It's very good. I would say to me Brussels sprouts taste like the combination of broccoli and cabbage. That's really the kind of flavor that, that it tastes like to me. So if you like broccoli and you like cabbage, you're going to love these. You don't want to waste any of that sauce. Put it right on top. And I also like to serve it with a little bit of lemon. So I'll just leave a lemon right here. And you can take, whoever you're serving to can take it and squirt some lemon on it. Delicious, nutritious, healthy, just perfect. Give it a try. I'm going to post the recipe 
And the, the link to, is in the description box down below, as it always is. Get it, make it, it's ready in under 15 minutes, you guys. Let me know how it turns out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.